Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with uh, with another tutorial. Now, uh, last weekend I was thinking to myself that uh, I don't think um, I could find another video uh, to put together, uh, you know, regarding the PS2 and the exploit card. But someone wrote in to me uh, last uh, during the during this past week, and they wanted to know how to uh, download uh, a PlayStation 2 saved game file and uh, apply it. Uh, pretty much uh, mo just move it to their memory card uh, for their game so uh, I decided to look into it and uh, here's the video for it so what you're gonna need is to download a, a little piece of uh, software called uh, PS2 save uh, save builder and what that does is um, what I found out is a lot of the game saves out there that you can download they're in um, their own uh, little format so I'll explain further as I open uh, the so I'm um, open the PS2 save builder. So it's zipped right now. So I'm just gonna click on the execute file, and here it is, right there. Now, uh, very easy to use. Um, when you click file open, and right at the bottom of the little window it says uh, file type. It gives you a whole list of file types, and I noticed that. Uh, there's uh, the AR Max Power Safe, AR Max version 3, it looks like Code Breaker Safe. So there's a lot of different formats that these game, that these, uh, game saves are saved uh, as. Um, so the one I found, um, I don't have very many games for the PS2 right now. Um, I have a Kill Zone, so I decided to download the Kill Zone uh, game save. Now I'll put um, the links to the uh, uh, save builder. In the description, link to the, the website where I got the game saves. That'll be in the sh uh, this video's description. So, uh, as I said, you click on the execute, you open it up, and uh, right now my game save file, which is a CBS extension, is on the desktop. So when I look here, CBS is for Code Breaker Save. So uh, it's perfectly fine for this uh, save builder software. So you just uh, click on it, click open. And uh, what we see here is we have the root ID, which is here at the top. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but you probably saw me highlight some, some uh, text here. That is important. That is what you have to name the file folder, okay? Because what happens is you're going to move the whole file right onto the memory card. But we'll get to that when we uh, complete this uh, little uh, step here. So... Here's my memory card uh, directory. I'm going to create a new folder. Oops. New folder. Okay. And on the save builder program, we're going to copy the root ID. Okay. This is important. Remember that. So copy. And I'm going to name the file that same root ID. Okay. So there, it's done. I'm going to click it. We're inside on the memory stick inside the folder that we just created. So, on the going back to the PS2 save builder, there's a, it shows you there's three files associated with this game save, okay? So what you do is individually right click, okay? Right click each file and you're going to see a little little uh, window pop up that says add file, delete, extract and properties. We want to extract to the memory stick uh, file that we created. So we just navigate to where he, there uh, to the uh, file folder, and that one has been moved. Next one, and you have to do this for each one. Extract into that directory, and the last one here, extract, and that's done. So there you go. There's all, sometimes you'll find three file saves. Sometimes uh, I don't know, but uh, this is the first time I'm this well. I've done it the first time with this game, so I'm going to use Killzone for this uh, example here, for this video. Okay, so the three files have been moved into the new directory we created on our memory stick here. Okay, so then we just close it up, and we're going to safely remove the memory stick. Okay, and now we're going to take this to the uh, PlayStation and continue from there. Okay. And we're back. So um, now we're here at the TV, uh, at our television, PlayStation 2 here. So what you're going to need is the um, an exploited memory card, 
a lot of my vi actually all my videos that have to do with the PlayStation 2 are uh, everything that you can do with the exploited memory card. So this will allow you to access your USB stick and move the game save onto the memory card. Now I have a blank memory card right here. Okay. It's blue. I forgot what the blue what type of blue. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Okay. So here it is. So we're, let's. Um, I've already got it booted up here. Okay, I'm already in the ULaunch uh, uh, can, um, software. So I'm gonna put this back here. Uh, exploited card in memory slot one. It really doesn't matter. This is my new one. I'm gonna put the game save on this here. So I'm gonna put it in memory card slot number two. Okay, and the game save file, which is on this USB stick, we're gonna put it in the USB slot. Okay, let me grab my controller and file browser so uh, again if you get a new memory not again but if you have a new memory card make sure you um, format it it's very important if you don't format it you can't move the game file to the memory card okay so make sure you format any new cards so first we're gonna go down to the mass um, section okay and that's the USB stick and um, we're going to go down, here it is, uh, there's the file, B-A-S-U-C-U-S, -S, and then a whole bunch of stuff. You're going to click R1, and that's going to bring up this window here. You're going to say, uh, there's copy, cut, uh, paste, delete, all. there's a whole bunch of stuff. So you're going to copy, okay, circle. So there's a little square that showed up here, I don't know if you can see it. That tells you that you've got something copied. Okay, so then you navigate backwards now to MC1. That is, that's your second memory uh, card slot. Okay? And here's the directory. It's empty. There is one file, uh, there is one folder on here, and that is uh, from the system when it formatted the card. It needs that information. So now to paste it here, you're going to hit R1. Now there's paste, MC paste, and PSU paste. For this, you need to do MC paste. Select MC paste, not just paste. So you're going to go down MC paste, then you hit circle, and now it's going to tell you it's it's moving the files over. And there it is now. You have a second folder appear on the directory here, and um, and that's it. You've copied the game save onto your memory card. Now let's boot up the game and see if it worked. Now you got to make sure when you boot it up, take out your exploited card or else it's going to boot to the to, through the exploit. Although it, it doesn't matter because you can select the game save if it does go to the if it does go to the um, uh, free McBoot um, title. Now again, this is a brand new card, so we should see one game save file when uh, Killzone um, starts up. Let's see if we can fast forward through this stuff here. Does take a while. Okay, so finally, so we go to options. You hit X. I believe it's um, not profiles. Profiles. Hold on a sec. Game. I guess it's profiles. I never loaded. Anyways, for game profiles you're gonna see a profile there that is from the move you made um, off your PC that's the game save from your PC anyway so anyway look you got stats the controller if the guy has customized customized his controller it's in here it's all here it looks like so 
悲しい Okay, so when you go into the game, that gives you, there it is, it's still there, game save is still there, and it's loading the profile, and select level, hope it's called, I think that's, you're at the end of the game, for this one here, and again, select your difficulty, anyways, um, it worked, now this may not work for all games, I know I tried it with um, God of War, and uh, I did have difficulty trying to uh, get the game, uh, um, the game save working. I know that the game did not detect the game save off the memory card. Um, what you, what I suggest doing is uh, tr maybe try a different game save, or maybe it just doesn't work. It may not be compatible. Um, but as you see here, it does work with Killzone and it does work with other games. So uh, good luck with that, and I hope you enjoyed this video.